Okay, so hi everyone. So this is Rooftop Explorer team. Ravi, Karthik, Frank, Tara. This has to be your first video, huh? Yeah. <laughs> because... Was that? Ah. But the game actually oh. uses it that way. So. Let's move. No, let's yeah, move on. Yeah. So, well, basically, one thing is like we had a lot of ideas and changing ideas basically during the game. So the very design of the game changed like three or four times. First we had a puzzle game, then we had a fast paced puzzle game, then basically yeah. So then it became a platformer which was just a plain platformer puzzler. Then we added enemies and stuff to make it more exciting, make it more fast paced. So now it's a platformer. But to retain the elements we have kept some puzzling element as well, exploration based. Okay, so, so the theme. Oh, the volume is on. So the theme now is it's a uh, aliens are attacking the earth as usual, and uh, <laughs> so they're attacking various cities, and their aim is to take away buildings from earth. So they they want to take the buildings and put them on their own planet. So the way we structured the levels is in each city there are some major buildings that the aliens are attacking. So we have like chapters. We have different <coughs> cities. In each city, you have a multiple buildings that you go and. So each level is one building in each city, and uh, the system option screen. So that's the city selection, and then you select the level inside that. So start playing. So there's three controls as you can see: left, right, and a jump. So the thing we're showing here is it's a 3D building. So we want the ability to go around the building. But we don't have four keys to go inside, outside, and left, right. So we added a corner block. So that's like a switch. The white thing that you see over there, that's a switch. So whenever the player goes on that, he automatically rotates in that direction. So and then you can come back and he rotates back. So that's just it. And then there are that's the alien, the green alien. So if you touch it, you die. Unfortunately, we are not a superhero. <laughs> so and then there's another hazard, which is goo that drops up. Drops down from above, which the aliens are throwing on you. So if that touches you, you die. So that was we were showing it. And then there are coins to collect, as usual in all games. So now we try to play. So there's a warning that black texture over there. It's supposed to be red. Anyway, that's the warning that shows that the goo is about to fall on you. So we are, I'm kind of waiting for it to fall. And the aliens are sentries that they keep walking around. So these are basically the challenges. And the goal is to reach the top and destroy the aliens. So here you would normally go to the right and keep going, but you see there's a coin hidden below. So you kind of go down and get it. This is kind of an easy hidden coin. There are more which you have to explore around. That's the puzzling part. So in one go, you cannot just spiral around the building and just collect all the coins. So there are we've hidden them with. So and there you see our power up on the the blue thing. So if you take it, it kind of gives you a shield that. Even if you touch the other guys, you don't die. That's the power. And uh, the shield. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, so the, the shields are usually placed in locations that uh, are not easy to reach and are challenging, and they are guarded by sentries and whatnot. So that's the risk reward factor for us. So either you try to clear the level without the shield, or you go for it, but you have to face off three or four aliens and stuff. So I actually need the most now. <laughs> I have to switch the video. Okay. There's more. There is. Oh, okay. So yeah, I keep going. Basically, we died like five, six times here, unfortunately. Okay. So I just switch to the next video where I use the power up. And uh, let me let me ask you guys. It's kind of a loaded question, of course, but did you feel that putting in all this gorgeous art at the end? Uh, you guys were doing it throughout because you have an artist on staff. But it allowed you to concentrate a little more on the game and the gameplay. And it really shows when you put this stuff in at the end. Yeah, yeah. So, so well done. Yeah, as much as initially we just thought it's a platformer. We don't know what the goal is, what the story is. So we didn't have the idea of aliens and like all the, the weapons, the combat, or well, there's no combat, but whatever things that we do here, a lot of the game is based on the story. Like once we came up with the story, like this chapter selection and stuff. Mm -hmm. So anyway. so here you see there's a, I activated the power up and there's a golden glow around our, you know. So even if you 
there's a glue that falls right there, but it doesn't get affected. I see. So, so yeah, once so you reach the top, you create the level, and then you can go to the next. So here we introduced uh, shooting. So you got hit by the bullet just now. So there's a turret at the end, and it can hit you. Yeah. So basically, right now we have three kinds of enemies: the sentry, the dropper, and the turret. Nice. One is a horizontal, one's vertical, and one's a kind of a long range. Yeah, long range. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we are going. Right. So here the power up is hidden below. Mm -hmm. So wonder if I'm gonna get it. Okay, I'm getting it. So I can stand on the turret. That's like a thing. Yeah, you cannot touch the aliens, but you can stand on the turrets. And those are poles you can climb on top of. You just touch it, and you automatically go. So I think in this in this level we focus more on the enemies. So there's not very much of exploration part. But in the third level we have a lot of hidden areas. Mm -hmm. And it will easily take about maybe five minutes. Like it will take you two minutes to just reach the top, but it'll take you five minutes to collect all the coins and stuff. So yeah, we have experimented with placing each <coughs> enemy encounter. You see now two centers are going back and forth. And then we will just go ahead. Almost at the end. So there's two turrets shooting on opposite directions. And yeah, you have this key. Mm -hmm. so almost ah. at the top. Mario Flora is there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, okay. so that's here. So when you reach the top. Yeah, you keep unlocking more levels as you go on. This is level three. Let's see what new stuff we have here. Okay, so there that's as explained. So here, so now we have all three elements combined. So there's stuff falling, there are guys moving around, and so it gets kind of difficult here. Just pause it. Pause it here. Yeah. Uh, you can see actually the alien is a bigger, little bit bigger here. And just I think around. he'll go on. Yeah. So we actually, uh, yeah, these yeah. aliens so are kind of bigger. So previously you can jump over an alien, but now he's actually bigger. So it's actually pretty difficult to jump over. Mm -hmm. This is an area where stuff is falling from up and they're shooting in the right. And this is a part where many people have tried, but I finished it. I died. I died. He finished it after I'm 20 not tries. Even on your team. <laughs> <laughs> he finished it after 20 tries, so I'm giving him a prize. <laughs> you get a free copy again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it basically. So uh, we have these different elements, and yeah. One more thing is you could see the particle effects on uh, both the player and the corners. So the particle effects we decided to put in later because people are finding it difficult to you know like exactly say the point and turn the camera. So we find it we found that it's much easier for them to you know like uh, visually uh, tell them that okay yes. this is where you have to. Yeah, be. the corners are glowing. Yeah. So if you so see there's that. actually particles coming out of the uh, corner. Yes, that's that's kind of telling them go touch it something will happen. That we yeah. Any questions for the team? Fantastic work, guys. Good job.